Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a video to show you guys how many times and when I rotate my prosthetic. Um, this video was recommended by one of my um, supporters. Like they commented under my last video, but for some reason I couldn't find the comment. But if you're watching this, thank you. Um, I'm going to show you guys and number one since I'm outside number one I would say the a time I do it a lot is when one when I'm driving which I wish be showing you guys and now two like for instance I'm sitting down on this little patio chair so sometimes I like to rotate my leg and put it like this let me show you guys like this like i'll rotate it i'll rotate it i'll hit the one let me show you how i did it so i press the button hold up sorry my leg is like <sighs> all right so i press this button this button i press it and then i can rotate it so i rotate it when i'm sitting down sometimes because it makes the socket more comfortable so I rotate it there and I'll just be sitting down like that, like regular, and I'll just rotate it. Another way what I'm going to show you guys is, let's go inside, let's go inside. All right, so another way is when I'm sitting on the floor. It's almost as similar as if I'm crossing, trying to cross my legs. So I came to the living room. I'm sitting down on the floor. So right now it's three with my other leg. You see it's three? Okay. So I hit this rotator, which is this gray part right here. This gray part. So I press the black button to rotate it. So you see how it basically falls to the side. So then I'll just grab the leg and just put it however I like. So sometimes I like to sit crisscross applesauce. So if you see, for some reason this is more comfortable to me when I'm sitting on the floor because my socket is, it will be pushed to the side a little bit and I'll make it a lot more comfortable. So in order to put it back, I'll just put it straight back out and you'll hear a click. Y'all heard it? Okay, so that means it's locked in position, so I can't move it to the side anymore, how I, how flexible it was. So again, I press here. Wait, okay, and you see how it went to the side? So now I'm able to put it in position. So again, how I put it back to normal, you'll hear a click, that means if when I put it straight, that means the click should automatically come in action. So you're about to see. Yeah, I heard it. Okay, so that means it's good to go. It's in position. I can also sit like this with my legs out. But for me, it's not as comfortable. Like, I don't know about other amputees. For everybody, it's different. Um, Everybody finds, you know, their their way to be comfortable while sitting, while standing, while walking. Everybody's different. But hang on tight. I'll be right back. I'm going to show you another way um, that I do use my rotator. Another way I use the rotator is putting on shoes and taking off my shoes. So... Again, I press the gray button, twist it. I'm gonna take them off. These are my sandals. Let me put you guys a little closer. So these are my sandals. I'm taking them off. I took them off. That's the way I take them off. Now, same way same time I have to use the rotator as well is when I'm putting them on. I'll put them on. It's a lot easier. 
and then I'll just done. It's that simple. And then again, I'll click. There we go. It would be a lot hard. Like I feel like it would be more difficult to try to do it this way. Now, don't get me wrong. Like before, I got the rotator. Um, I used to do like put on my shoes regularly, like you would at home. Like I wasn't able to rotate my leg. It was very hard in the beginning with my other um, prosthetic, my temporary prosthetic. Um, and you can see that video. I believe it's my third video of me um, explaining all three of my legs. I have my temporary, my running leg, and then my um, finitive leg, which is the one I have right now, which is the one you guys are seeing. Um, so in the beginning, it was very hard, like putting on shoes, getting dressed, like it wasn't as easy as it may seem. Um, right now, it's a lot easier because of the rotator. I got the rotator when I got this prosthetic leg, the Lynx, probably almost three years ago, not even. I would say, yeah, almost three years ago, I got the um, Lynx in the, in the rotator as well. So the ra rotator... Um, the guy that usually take care of my prosthetic, he um, he thought it was a great tool for me to have because I'm young, I'm very, not as active as I should be, <laughs> um, as I, I would love to be, um, but yeah, but when he put the rotator on, it was like a game changer, like I'm like, I wish I would have got this with my other prosthetic. But now the only reason I was able to get it, I know it would be different for a lot of other amputees. You know, I'm just speaking on, about myself, like what I'm going through and what I have for everybody is different and it's more difficult, of course. And I understand that. Um, but the only reason I was able to get the road seater was because I had a big space between my knee and my socket. Like, I had a good space to add the rotator. That's why I was able to get the rotator, and which was pretty cool. Um, and it is also very helpful when it comes to driving because driving, it was very difficult. Like, I would have to, like, push my leg to the side, and it wasn't as comfortable. Um, but I'm going to add that in here. I'm going to show you guys um, how I drive and when I have to use my rotator while driving. So stay tuned. Don't leave me just yet. And again, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also hit that little bell. I'm waiting. Three, two, one. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Welcome to the car. Come with me, guys. Alright, I just got to the car. So I'm going to show you guys how I get in. This is me getting into the car. Let me just turn it on real quick. Alright, so first things first. So, again, I click this button turn it and I put it wait yeah when you to see I put it like that like by the seat see how I put it and then my left leg I drive normal with it like you would with your right leg so okay so that's how I put my leg to drive all right so here I go I'm about to leave. Let me take the emergency brake off. Let me reverse a little bit. Alright. 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 So you can see guys, I drive regular like if you guys would drive with your right leg. But the only difference is I drive with my left and I tuck in my prosthetic since I have the rotator it's easier for me to just get it out my way to drive the other good thing about this is about this car anyway um I have the emergency brake at the top of the car like where I put park drive reverse is literally right here I'm going to show you guys 
you see it is right here this button so i just pull it up and then to take it off i just push it down so you see like if i was if i had to hit the emergency brake it would be easy for me to hit it like it's not on the floor where i'm driving at like where the pedal is at and that's the good thing about it about this car but i've had other cars that the emergency brake will be on the floor in order for me to hit the emergency brake because I've, I've lived on a hill like since I've moved out here into Pennsylvania um, and it's hard it's not as easy as you may think it is so what I always used to do is I would use my cane in order to like hit the emergency brake or or to hit reverse or park on a hill because you know you need your two legs in order to park in a hill so it wasn't as easy but this car made my life a lot better so y'all see yeah, i'm driving regular i'm using my left leg to drive my right leg is tucked in i hope you guys are enjoying this Look who came to visit me. They're so beautiful. Be careful. Look who came to visit me. Aww. They're so cute. to show you how I read the magazine. Oh, I forgot, give me one second. It, I forgot it's this leg. Rotate, put it up, and this is how I read my magazine. 